Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the lame box for Hack the Box. I'm going to do a full walkthrough. I'm going to do this with you guys. So it's a pretty easy box, as it says on Hack the Box. It's uh, pretty simple. So please watch to the end. And if you like it, please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Let's get into it. Sorry I haven't uh, uploaded in a while, and um, I'm back at it now. So thank you for all the support and the patience. All right, so I'm on my machine here. I'm on my Cali box. So this is the machine right here. Let me actually try to make this a little bigger <clears throat> so you guys can see it. Let me uh, just go ahead and click on this box. And this is the tracks in the beginner track. I just thought it would be easier just to browse right to that instead of actually looking for this box in the retired boxes. And we can just uh, start up this machine and we'll let this create. And once it creates and it, and, and it loads up, it should give us an IP address. And with that IP address, we'll be able to go about finding and scanning and enumerating and all that good stuff. So obviously all these videos are for educational purposes. This platform, Hack the Box, is an amazing platform to learn. So if you're interested in ethical hacking or pen testing or cybersecurity, this is amazing stuff. So just hang in there. You know, if you're a beginner, you're just learning. I have a whole bunch of videos on my channel, like, you know, VulnHub machines, Try Hack Me. Now I want to start doing some Hack the Box machines. And uh, I haven't done any on my channel. This is probably, I think, the first one. I think I showed you guys how to, like, access it, uh, open it up with the VPN and all that good stuff. Cool. It's ready. So we have this IP address of 10.129.236.150. So what I want to do is I want to copy this bad boy. And I want to open up a text editor. Okay. So with this text editor, I'm just going to paste that there. And let's see if I can make that a little bigger. So just so I can, just to have it for reference later. So let's, we can minimize that now. Let's minimize this. So now we have that. So now I want to go onto my desktop. That's my VPN. All right, so let's do CD. All right, so I have, I have this directory, whoops, let me make it a little bigger. I have this directory in my home, InfoSecPat, uh, try uh, hack the box, HTB. So what I want to do is I want to make a directory really quick. MKDIR, and what is this called? Lame, right? So let's cd to lame. There's nothing in that. There's nothing in that directory quite yet. So what I'm going to do is I want to run a quick nmap scan. Okay, let's do nmap, and then I'm going to do. Uh, oh my god. Oh jeez. All right. So I want to do a service scan, and what else would I want? I want to actually put this out on a. Um, on a file, I'm just gonna name it lame. That's be .txt. All right, and then the IP address. I think I may have it still, maybe. Cool. All right, so let's, uh, did I do something? Let's do, oh, that was my bad. So it's a small C, uh, small S, big C. Sorry, it's been a crazy weekend. And uh, actually, it's actually been a rough couple weeks. So I had some uh, personal stuff going on. So like, I'm back at it now. Hopefully, I can start uploading you know, once, twice a week now and um, give you guys you know, back the to, back to videos that you, uh, you asked for. And I, I appreciate a couple of you guys actually probably... A lot of you people, you know, hit me up on Instagram, uh, checking on me just because I haven't uploaded and that's, you know, even on Instagram that I haven't really loaded anything. Um, I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. All right. So let's just wait for this to uh, scan. And once this scans, we're going to see like the open ports and I can copy all that stuff and then put it into our Word doc or not the Word doc, the text editor. So while that's doing it, I'm going to actually go like this 
And doo -doo 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 -doo. let's just make a. I should have used cherry tree, but it's all good. All right, so I'm going to put like the end map scan here. Perfect, it's done. So let's make this a little bigger. So we see port 21 open, FTP, port 22, SSH, and 129, uh, 445, uh, which is Samba, which is shared, SMB. All right, so we can take all this results just for best practice, right? So we can copy this, throw this here. All right, just, just so I have it, okay? So now what we can do is we can actually try to see, let's go back up here. We can see the version of FTP is VSFTP, VSFTPD 2.3.4. What we can do now, we can see we can start out with something here. So let's go ahead and clear this, all right? We have, an, we, we have that, uh, whoops. We have that, that scan for later if we ever have to reference to it. So let's do search exploit. Okay, so that's the, that's actually because I did this box, not on video, but I did this box before. So that's probably why it was in my, my history. So we can see that it's a backdoor code execution. That's the exploit that we can use, which means when we execute this, we can get backdoor access to our FTP server, all right? Which is pretty handy. So we can, you know, jot this down, move it over. I mean, copy that and put it into our notes, but we don't need to do that right now. You know, we already know that. So what we can do now, really quick, let's go ahead and open up MSF console, which is says Metasploit, right? So once we open this up, then we can search for uh, FTPD right? and then see if we can find any uh, or VS FTPD. So let's do, let's clear this so we can get back to the top. Okay, let's do search uh, VS FTPD, okay? So we see the exploit right here, okay? So with this exploit, we can just use zero. And once that comes in, you see that no, no payload configured. So it's using the default CMD Unix interact, okay? So we can see if this is gonna work. And, but what we need to do now, we're gonna go ahead and um, let's do show options really quick. So we have to set the R host, right? The remote host. So that's the host that we're trying to exploit, which is the hack the box. So let's do set R host. And because I don't remember that IP, let's go ahead and copy this IP and little paste, okay? Show options now. We can see now the R host is in there. <clears throat> let's see if we can exploit it. Let's see if that works. It may or may not work. We'll see. We'll give this a moment. Okay. Let's give it a moment. While that's taking a moment, I want to get a drink of tea because I'm thirsty. All right, so there's no sessions created, so we can just keep moving, right? Like we know that, F uh, let's go back here. We know FTP was open, but that didn't work. There's, there's, um, now let's go ahead and see if we can log in as anonymous, right? Let's copy this. You know, there's always different ways to check this out. So let's go ahead and open up a new tab. Let's make this bigger, just so we can see. Let's do sudo su, and let's go ahead and log into this bad boy. All right, so let's go do FTP, FTP, and paste. Oh, ah, crap. Sorry, guys, let me go to the IP copy. Let's see if that works. Let's see. Paste, ah, damn it. All right, so let me go back to here. I thought I copied this. Maybe I didn't. Copy. Paste. There we go. All right, so now we can try to log in as anonymous, right? So with anonymous, and then, you know, 
with the password, you can just use anything, right? So let's go ahead and try to log in. A non miss. Whoop. A non. Uh, a non. All right. So now we're in this box. So now let's do an LS, right? We can see that we're in. <coughs> oh man, sorry. So PWD, we're on the root. So CD, let's go to home really quick. All right, so it doesn't, you know, we cannot add, we cannot do much with this. Let's just bye bye. There's not much on there. So I'm just showing you guys the process of what I did to, you know, do this. There's, obviously I know the way to do it. I just want to show you guys the process. I think the process and understanding the step-by-step -step methodology is critical when you're doing all these boxes because if you're doing this, it's pretty much you're going to do the same kind of process. If it's an easy box, a medium box, a hard box, it's that same methodology, that mindset to get into, right? Trying to different kinds of ways uh, with the services that are running, right? All right, so now we have... Uh, uh, let's do search exploit Whoop. and we know SMB was running right so I believe that was Samba two three I think it was let's just double check 3.0.2 20 uh, doo -doo -doo. yep right yeah perfect okay awesome so now we see there's different kinds of ex you know, exploits here what we can use Let's go back into MSF console. Well, actually we have it here, right? Yeah. Let's exit this. Oh, I didn't want to exit, I should have just said back. Ah, whatever. Let's go back, let's go back to this one because that one's open. So let's clear this. So now let's search. Uh, we're gonna use let's do user map. Alright, so we have user map underscore script. We can try to use this to execute different kinds of uh, exploits, right? So let's use zero. All right, so let's go ahead and let's, let's, uh, let's see, first let's just show options really quick. We can do, all right, so let's see what, well, I'm trying to think. All right, let's just set our host, sorry, my head is a little, uh, I'm really tired. I haven't slept in like, I don't even know, probably a week and a half, probably now. But, so I'm trying, I'm trying to. All right, so we have the R, the R host, and we have the R port, which is 139, which is the SMB, okay? So the local host, this is my local host. Let's go ahead and just open up a new, a new tab really quick, and let's make this bigger. Let's do if config. Oh, man, that's that's really big. All right, so we have 172.16.1.6 is my ETH0, which is my local IP address, but we have to set the IP address of the IP, the local host is, let's copy this, is tunnel zero, okay? Because that's what we're gonna use because you know we have to try to make a reverse shell back to our tunnel network that's associated with the hack the box. Okay, so let's do uh, set l host oops, set l host paste this. Okay, now we show options, and now we have that there. Now let's try to exploit it. See if we can try to get a session. All right, looks looks like good, right? We have a session here. So now we can do really quick, like for example, which Python. All right, so we do have Python. So let's just see if we can pop a shell, get in like a, a shell on this box, okay? Okay, perfect. So now we can do an LS. Now we're on that box. Now you see it says root at lame. So now we are, are there. Right, so now what we can do is check out different kinds of directories, right? So let's just, for example, cd 
to boom. Let's do ls. Okay, so we have an FTP make is a uh, service user. Let's just cd to whoops. Let's do ls. Whoops. Ls. All right, user.txt. So now let's cat user. User.txt. I think I messed that up. Okay, perfect. So you would take this, copy this, go on to hack the box, submit a submit a flag, and then we would paste this in here, and we can rate the difficulty and you submit it. It's probably not going to submit because I already did it. Okay, but now we have to get the root flag. That's the user flag. So there is two flags here. Okay, so now we can do. Let's do. Let's go back to cd to root. Let's do ls. So root.txt. So let's cat root root uh, root.txt. And that's the root flag. Now you copy this, go back, and then whoop, go back here, paste it, submit, and then that concludes this box. So it was it was two two flags to too lame and uh, that's pretty much whoops yeah that's pretty much it that concludes this video so if you guys found this informative please like subscribe share I'm looking to do more hack the box boxes I'll probably do let's go back here for a second I'll probably do uh, Jerry next uh, blue even though I did like my own little blue but I want to try to do some different um, hack the box excuse me, hack the box boxes walkthroughs. So, because I've been asked to do some hack the box ones. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this informative. Thank you so much for viewing. And until next time, have a good one.